What up gamers? I'm Jason. I'm Julie. And today on Dice and Dragons we are going to be reviewing Villain Back number 3, Legacy of Evil for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid, published by Renegade Game Studios and designed by Jonathan Yang. I'm going to toss it over to Julie who will tell you more about the game itself. It is for 1 to 6 players uh, for ages 14 and above. The box says it plays in 45 minutes, uh, but I don't think we've ever played in less than an hour and 20. <laughs> Yeah, the game a definitely takes a little longer. bit less, but yeah. Typically, it takes us at least an hour and a half. Well, you know, we don't lose very often in this game. Oh. So, you know, six rangers, good guys got to triumph over evil. Now, what will you be getting in Legacy of Evil? Well, you're getting two new bosses in the in the form of Thrax and Divatox, and three classic monsters, Parantis Head, King Sphinx, and Terror Toad, will be added to the game. Now, if you're not familiar with Heroes of the Grid, what will you be doing? Well, as you can see here, we've got our Rangers. They're going to be moving around the board, fighting putties and other types of minions, depending on the expansions you have for the game, eventually fighting the monsters that are going to show up, so specifically the monsters in this box then you have to take on the big boss in order to save angel grove or maybe not angel grove you're in another city but the game itself always says angel grove because that's where it started and you're trying to save the world from the bad guys i think i covered everything yes oh also you know you got a deck of cards you're playing cards kicking butt that type of stuff too so on that now we're going to grab our drink grab our best friend We're going to take it to the table one, one more time. time. Let's take a quick look at the components for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. Villain pack number three, Legacy of Evil. So as you can see, we've got a list of the expansion content, the components, how to integrate the expansion, uh, the new roaming monsters variant that you can play with, how to steal cards with Terror Toad, and there was a replacement card pack, which uh, if you saw our unboxing of this, I've already mixed into the uh, Rita Repulsa and the Pudgy Pig decks. So these are just new cards to replace some of the, uh, the ones that were included in the original game. Now, before we get into looking at the character, well, the monsters and bosses, they of course all come with their card that will let them be mixed into the location deck. I just decided to keep it separate this time, make things a little easier. We're going to go through the monsters and then the bosses. So we'll start first with Terror Toad. I don't really remember this character. He didn't uh, leave as big an impression on me as King Sphinx. So we'll take a look at uh, what he's got, the Horn of Hunger. While this card is in play, each time a ranger attacks Terror Toad, uh, he steals the top two cards of their deck, shuffle those cards back into their decks when the card is defeated. That's annoying. We've got a few Swallow Hole cards, steal four cards from the ranger with the most cards in their hand, return those cards to that ranger's hands when this card is defeated or when the battle ends. Come to Croak. Deal one damage to each ranger, increase his damage by one for each combat card currently stolen by Terror Toad. We've got Tongue Lash, drain one damage, sorry, one energy, deal five damage. Any cards discarded for defense are stolen instead. Return those cards to the discard pile after this card is defeated. And that's what we get for the Terror Toad. Here we've got Parantis Head, who is a pretty cool looking monster. Uh, I do like the minis in this. Not the most detailed, but... Uh, with how large they are, you can definitely do some nice paint jobs on them still. Not something that I can do, uh, unfortunately. Just don't have the time. Uh, we've got Chum Chucks. Fast, deal four damage to each ranger with at least one Zord card. If no Zord cards are in play, you deal two damage to each ranger instead. Hijack Attack, deal four damage each to half of the rangers in this battle. You round it, in the battle, you round it up. Increase the damage by one for each Zord in play. We've got Powerful Current. Exhaust all Zord cards in play. If one or fewer Zord cards are exhausted this way, deal three damage to each Ranger. And then we've got Zord Lockdown. While this card is in play, Rangers cannot use these Zord abilities. So that is Parantis Head. Now I'm going to move on to King Sphinx, one of the uh, most notable characters from the show. He's got his Cobra Beam, deal four damage each to half of the Rangers in this battle, rounded up. Gale Force Wind, remove one Ranger from this battle and move their figure to the next location clockwise, and the Ranger must discard their entire hand, which is pretty nasty. We've got the Scepter Barrage, deal two damage to a single Ranger four times, and there are three of those, so <laughs> you can potentially take out a Ranger. 
Uh, Sphinx Slam deal five damage. The ranger who suffers this damage must discard one card from their hand. And those are all of his cards. Next, we'll take a look at Diva Talks. So with her addition to the game, maybe we'll get Turbo. And that would be cool because uh, love to have uh, that sort of... That's like the last team missing from the Zordon era, so it'd be pretty cool. So we've got the Depth Charge. While this card is in play, after each Ranger attack resolves, deal one damage to that Ranger. Increase the damage by one for each of the misses that they rolled. Eye of Chaos, you're going to roll a die. On a zero result, drain three energy. On a hit, deal three damage to each Ranger. On a double hit, you get to do both. Really nasty. Fire Torpedoes, two different Rangers each must discard the bottom two cards of their deck. That could potentially kill a Ranger if you're not careful. Uh, Pirate Queen, while this card is in play, all foot soldiers gain the guard keyword and have plus one health. Viva La Diva, deal four damage each to half of the rangers in this battle, rounded up. Increases damage by one for each Diva Dox card that has been defeated or discarded. So, that'll get nastier the, the better you do uh, against her. And then lastly, we've got Thrax, who's a villain I really don't uh, remember, but he's got Lord Zed's staff and he's looking like he's going to... Uh, kick a lot of butt so we've got curse of doom while this card is in play after each ranger combat card resolves deal three damage to that ranger that ranger may spend one energy to prevent it hideous blow deal four damage to the ranger with the most cards in their hand increases damage by one for each card in that ranger's hand the implosion wave drain three energy and then each ranger must discard one random card from their hand or discard the top two cards of their deck lightning beam Deal 10 damage divided among the rangers as they choose. That's a lot of damage. And then the last card we have is Void Burst. Deal 6 damage to each ranger. Reduce the damage that each ranger suffers by 1 for each card in their discard pile. So this shows up late, or in like a second round, depending on how your combat's going. It may not do that much damage. So there you have it. We've taken a look at all the components for Villain Pack 3, Legacy of Evil. I'll keep it right here as I'll be... We'll come, be coming back at you with our review of this expansion. So, Julie, what did you think of Villain Pack number three, Legacy of Evil? Yes, I pulled the name off the back of the box because it's hard to remember all the names of these packs. For Power Rangers, Heroes of the Grid. Now, the Legacy of Evil name comes from Thrax, who is a character that's supposed to be, I think, the son of Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed, if I'm not mistaken. You've got the epic villain for the Turbo Rangers, Diva Dog, so some of the famous ones, and then some classic monsters are making an appearance as well, such as King Sphinx, Paratus Head, and Terror Toad. Now, Julie, what did you think of the villains? I, I enjoyed them. I thought there were some interesting mechanics, but I do think the power creep in the game, because we're playing with some very new rangers, is starting to show up. A little bit. <laughs> well, this, this is an older pack. Yeah, Trax was uh, fairly annoying, though. Yeah, Thrax is like a truck. I have to say, I think Thrax might we be one of the... We barely made it. Yeah, Thrax might be one of the most deadly villains, and he almost took us all out off of his first card that went off. He dealt an insane amount of damage to us twice in a row to the point where, you know, look here, like, Rangers have one card left, two cards left. Like... We use all our resources to fight Thrax, so if you're looking for a strong boss monster, I definitely say you need to check them out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, besides that, they were all pretty forgettable, honestly. <laughs> I thought Terror Toad stood out because he was the one that was stealing cards from us, which was an interesting mechanic where he could take cards from your hand, and then he's got them, and you have to defeat him to get the card back. But playing with rangers like Kendall, who were just able to take out like three for the price of one, we weren't really dealing with too much of the, the damage from the monsters. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I, he didn't really do you much. Know, but it was interesting mechanics. I'm complimenting the design. Yeah, uh, and I mean, it was, yeah, Div the Divatox was... Okay. She was she was fairly forgettable actually. She had one card that one or two cards that went off. They weren't overly damaging. When you compare Diva Talks to sorry, Diva Talks to Thrax in the same box, it's just not comparable. Mm -hmm. I feel like you've got a 
average level villain and that may be because she's going to fit well with the design of the Turbo Rangers when they release them later on. But when you're facing off against Thrax, you feel like you've definitely got one of the strongest uh, bosses in the game. King Sphinx had a, a couple of little annoyances. He's got some very strong cards, a lot of guard, which could be... Uh, a little tricky, depends on the characters that you're playing with. Having Corona who could just basically be like, you can ignore Guard, I can ignore Guard, and when we ignore Guard, I get energy. Like, a, these Rangers that we're playing as really made short work of the villains. So I think that may be something to consider, especially if you're looking back, sorry, if you're buying new content, looking to go backwards, you may want to make sure that you've got maybe the Rangers that fit the characters, except for maybe Thrax, to have the appropriate gameplay experience. Otherwise, you could get some lopsided matches. And that's not the first time that we've noticed this uh, in the game. Yeah, but uh, like we said, uh, Tr Thrax does stand up against these uh, these rangers. Yeah, and two cards in and you could be toast. So Thrax is, you know, if you're, if you're buying this box for difficulty, you're buying it for Thrax. And other than that, I think you'd be picking this up because you're a fan of Power Rangers. You, you remember the monsters. Terror Toad and King Sphinx are two of the, the ones that actually stand out to me that I remember from the classic episodes. If I'm not mistaken, I think Terror Toad was the one that, used, that ate their weapons. So that's why he's eating your cards. So I just remember that from uh, when I was a kid and King Swing stood out, but I can't remember exactly what episode, but he was a, it was an episode that I watched multiple times as well. I have nothing else to add. I mean, no, you're, you're not getting much to add. The, the villains are a, little, are a lot more faceless in this game than I'd say other games, and it takes really tricky to make them stand out, especially when you play like we do with Six Rangers, and your focus is damage as many cards in a single attack as possible meaning you're not really giving the villains that much time to shine. And these rangers do a very good job of just beating them down. So, I think I've talked enough about it. I think you've talked enough about it as well, Julie. So what are you going to give this uh, this expansion? I don't think it's going to be the best rating. And take our rating with a grain of salt, because we were reviewing this probably about a year to 18 months after it came out. So Well, given Thrax and the difficulty, I'm still going to give it a 7 for Thrax. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's it's a seven. It's a solid expansion. Our experience is a little tainted. I would say that maybe if I was reviewing it just versus these Rangers, I might say like a 6.5. But I got to take it into the context of when this was designed, what the packs were that were coming out at the time, which was like Ranger Ally Pack 2, Legendary Rangers Forever Ranger. And I think facing off against those characters would probably be a lot more balanced. Whereas right now this team is just... Well, not even a team. This group of heroes is very, very strong. And a lot of fun to play as. Mm -hmm. So I think we've talked enough about this. And we've given our scores. So it's time to remind everyone to... Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when we have new content for you. And take a look down below in the video description. You'll find links to all our social media feeds. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you'd like to see some pictures of Julie and I playing against the Legacy of Evil Ranger, sorry, Villain Pack number three, there'll be some on our feeds very shortly. And then popping up in front of us will be links to some of our previously released videos. In front of me will be our most recent release in front of Julie. We'll take you back to our review because this is going to come out after Ranger Ally Pack number three. So we talked about those Rangers. You should definitely check out that review, Ranger Ally Pack number three, if you haven't done so yet. And now we're going to grab our drink. Grab our fellow ranger and best friend. And we shall remind you to keep playing games.